Win Win 20% off Black Friday sale, November 21 through 28th. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's November 2021 and we now have functional mark points in the F16C Viper. We can have up to five mark points. They are stored in steer point memory location 26 to 30. There are five methods of designating a mark point. From the HUD, from the T-Pod, from the air to ground radar, from an overfly, or coming later from the helmet mounted display. The three main uses of mark points are marking a target or a point of interest for later use, or setting to a current steer point, or sharing on the data link with other aircraft, which again will come later. We're going to show everything that we can show at the moment with this scenario. Here is our F-16, 25 miles out of this base. We're going to mark four mark points. The first via air to ground radar, which will be in the middle of the runway. Mark point two will be via the T-Pod, which will be that aeroplane there. Mark point three will be via the HUD, which will be the biggest hangar on the airfield, probably that one there. And finally, an overfly. We will overfly this smoke here and create a mark point over that. We will then convert mark point four into our current steer point, just to show we can do that. Then we will head away from the target, come back in, and show that we can recall these mark points for later prosecution. For this video, I'm gonna assume that you can already use the air to ground radar and the T-Pod. First, let's look at the mark point DED page, ICP-7 on the DED. First, our designation method, currently hard. We can sequence that, TGP, fire control radar, or overfly. If we have either of those for soy, sensor of interest, then it would automatically select the correct one when creating the mark point. That is the memory slot that we're using, 26 to 30. We can dobber down and change the lat long manually and the elevation, but we cannot change the MGRS. Let's get out of there. Next, controls, TMS up to create our FTTs or SPEs today and create our mark points, TMS down to undesignate our FTT slash SPI and the RDR cursor up, down, left and right or the axis equivalent to slew our sensors around. I'm going to try to do all of these four mark points in one hit without pausing so it will be relatively fast. Let's do the air to ground radar. Unpause. Air to ground radar mark. Air to ground. Air to ground radar mode. GM. Ground mapping. Let's try and find our airfield for the usual methods so let's zoom in a little let's take down the gain i think that's going to be him there let's make him soy with to make the air to ground radar soy dms down another press makes the tgp soy and up makes the hud soy make this guy soy slew to the suspected area of the runway there we're going to zoom in with an expand Doppler beam sharpen. Doppler beam sharpen again. It's pretty fuzzy, so we're going to turn away from it to give ourselves an offset angle, which of course will clear the picture up. There we go, that's a lot better. Zoom in. Okay, let's move the cursor to the runway. There we go, I think that's accurate enough. Okay, with the air to ground radar as soy, we can now press TMS up to create our FTT or a SPI. Done. We can now create our mark point. So, mark. It's already detected that the FCR is soy. TMS up again. Mark created. Next, it's very important after that to return on the dobber out of the mark DED page. Also, we want to undesignate the FTT with the SPI, so TMS down. Next, T-Pod. Let's go and get that done. TGP. Okay, right, I'm just going to find this uh, find this manually just to speed up. There it is. Okay, find the aeroplane. There it is. I'm going to go narrow field of view. That's accurate enough for our purposes. I'm going to go TMS forward to create our points and our speed. Now we're going to go and create the next mark point. Mark point. It's already got TGP and TMS up to create the mark point. Done. 27 has been populated. Return out of the mark point DED page and TMS down to cancel our SPI. Done. Next, we're ready for our HUD. So we are going to use DMS up to assign soy to our HUD. 
Now we've done that, we can see the star there, so we know the HUD is soy. And we're gonna press mark. So this is a slightly different way of doing it. Mark. You can see a dot appears in our velocity vector or flight path marker there. Next, we're gonna use our radar slew keys to move a reticle out of our flight path marker. Currently, this is stabilized to the aircraft, not the ground. If we press TMS up once, it's now stabilized to the ground. Much easier to command. Next, let's go and find our hangar. There is our hangar. Let's have a quick check at our DED page. You can see HUD is already selected and press TMS up and slot 28 has been populated. Next, again, always return away from the DED page and TMS down to make sure any SPI is cancelled. Finally, we're going to do our overfly. So, air to air mode, mark. It's already got overfly selected because it knows what you're trying to do. Burner on, there is our smoke. As we go over the smoke with the Mark DD page selected, I'm gonna press TMS up and it will create our overfly. And press memory slot 29. Next, if we want to create a selected mark as our current steer point, then we press M select. Whilst we have it selected in the DD page, it's now our current steer point. And finally, I'm gonna head away, speed up, head away, if I'm gonna remove it, here let's just say i'm doing another part of the mission now blah 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 now i'm going to turn back and come in now i want to recall these mark points so i can go and put some bombs on them so let's turn around and roughly face i'm just going to pause it so i've got some uh, talking time here let's say i want to put a bomb on data entry 27 well i could either use our incrementer here to select that particular mark point or my personal favorite way is to go to the hsd the mark points are shown as little yellow crosses. If we make this screen soy with DMS down, use the RDR slew keys, we can select them directly from here with the TMS up. And now we've selected that particular mark point, which is data entry 27, and created a SPI. We can now hit air to ground mode, go and drop a bomb on it, or launch a JSAL or whatever we want to do. So that shows the four current ways of designating mark points converting mark points into a current steer point, and then later recalling any of those mark points via the ICP DED or the HSD for later prosecution. I hope that was useful and see you later.